oh, I don't know if I can do this. Can I start my own YouTube channel? Oh, I don't really know. I, I just doubt myself so much. I don't know if I have the talent. I don't know if I have the personality for it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can do it. I'm not sure. There's just, there's just so much to do. I'm so overwhelmed. Maybe like, maybe I should text like 50 of my friends. That's what I'll do. Yeah, I'll text 50 of my friends and ask them to reassure me, to tell me that, that I can do this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Who are you? Sean, you know what you should do. You've wanted to start a YouTube channel for a very long time. So you have so many talents, you're so clever, you're so smart, you know all the work that it takes to get something like this going. You have the work effort. You just have to get the ideas down and you just have to start. You just have to get the camera out and just record your first video. Are you sure? Like, I don't know. This just seems like so much work. It's, there's so much to do. I don't, I don't know if I can ever do something like this. It's a dream of mine, but I just doubt myself. I don't know what I should do. Help me. Sean, this is something you can totally do. Your friends are behind you 100%. You don't need to text them to ask them about doing it. They are with you. They are on board. They support you. They love you. All you have to do is just get your camera set up and start making a video. And I'm going to give you a little bit of help. So get that camera set up and start making that video. I don't know if I should go to this party or not. I don't really know anybody there and I'm, I'm so shy. I don't, I don't know what to say. I hope people like me. Like I don't want to say something that's really stupid and then you know, people think I'm dumb or they don't really care what I have to talk about. I'm just I'm not really sure if I should go. Maybe I should just stay home. It'll be easier to stay home. I don't have to worry about anything and then I don't have to like put myself out there and have to deal with criticism. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay home. Of course people are going to like you. What are you talking about? Sean, once they meet you, you know they're going to fall in love. You have so much charm. You have a warm smile. People love talking to you and you are able to captivate a room. Are you sure? I feel like I can be too much for people. Sometimes I talk too much. Sometimes I smile too much. Sometimes I'm just in their face. Maybe I'm too much. Maybe, no, I think I should stay home. I think it's better that I stay home. Of course you have to go to that party. You can't just stay home. You'll suffer from FOMO. Fear of missing out. So, get your clothes on, do your hair, put your cologne on, and put on that warm smile. And I'm going to give you a little bit of help. That should help carry you through the night. I don't know why I do CrossFit. Why did I ever join? It's such a masculine sport and I, I don't really feel that masculine. I try, but like, I'm just so uncomfortable around the guys there and I don't know what they think about me and if they think maybe I'm too gay or they don't really know like how to approach me because I wear like short shorts and I wear like tank tops with fun things on it. So it just, I feel so insecure when I'm there. I'm really comfortable around all the girls, but I'm so uncomfortable around all the guys. And I'm not really sure like why I think they would think that I was too gay. So I don't know. I don't think I want to stick with CrossFit. I think it's, I'm just going to stay home. I think it's going to be a lot easier. Sean, get on your workout clothes and get your ass to CrossFit. You always talk about how much you love being there, that everyone is like a family and all the girls love when you enter the room and you come in and you have all your fun gear on and all your colorful tops and everybody wants to work out with you and everybody wants to be on your team. So you know that people love you there. You should never doubt it. Also, your coaches love you too. They talk about you all the time. They have little nicknames for you and stuff like that. So don't worry about it at all. Are you sure I should stick with it? I don't know. I just feel like they look at me and they think that I'm not like super fit or they think I'm too weak. Like just because I can't do a muscle up or do like a handstand walk. So I just, I doubt myself when I'm there and I'm wondering if it's something that I should continue with. No one looks at you like that at all. It's all in your head. So 
get yourself ready, get in the car, get your flavored water, and get yourself to CrossFit. For God's sake, Sean, they call you princess. Huh, that's true. They do call me that, so I should probably stick with it.